Joining me now with the latest on the president's efforts to secure the border, uh, to uh, stymie the, uh, the ambitions of, uh, of China, whether it's stealing our stuff or whether it is uh, just simply running up the tab through massive trade surpluses with the United States. Top strategist for Great America PAC, former Reagan White House political director, Fox Business political analyst, Ed Rollins, and New York Post columnist, Fox Business contributor, a, a Pulitzer Prize winning contributor. I know I should say it the other way, but I did it that way just for fun. Good to have you here. Thank you. Thank you. Let, let, let's start with the president in Buenos Aires with uh, Xi, and they've come up with a deal to think about a deal to talk about a deal which doesn't mention one thing at all, which was all of that stealing to the tune of hundreds of billions of dollars by the Chinese, Ed. What's going on? Chinese historically will tell you whatever you, they think you want to hear uh, and basically then never do anything. In my sense, if this president's not careful, he's going to have a whole bunch of things that he thought were promises made by the, the, the Koreans and the... Well, he, he understands there's not a deal made. It, 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 the, the business press is running a little hard with this deal, I think. I think they I, I love seeing Larry Kudlow out there in front of those microphones trying to explain. <laughs> he does He does like those microphones, though. <laughs> so he'll so, so my, my, my sense is, uh, you know, obviously the Bush funeral has taken on the attention of a whole week, a very important week in the Congress of trying to get things done before the end of the year. I think the Democrats are going to try and run the clock as much as they can, and I think very little is going to get done between now and the end of the year on important issues, well, including the war, the wall. Well, and then we've got the little matter of uh, a government shutdown, an additional right. two weeks uh, the Democrats and Republicans agreeing on before there's a shutdown. What do you make of the 21st of December as the deadline? Well, look, I, I, as, as Ed said first about the Buenos Aires, um, I think Xi Jinping never has any intention of giving away anything he really wants. And he is, he is the president for life. Donald Trump has two more years in this term. So I think that they just intend to wait can you him out. Can you imagine a group... Fools running around hashtag resistance <laughs> in Beijing. That's How right. long you wouldn't live long? very long. They would. I don't think they'd make it. Yeah. And I have to. But 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 to but to your question, Lou. Um, it clearly, um, the calendar is now overfilled. The time is short. Uh, in the in you're the talking about the Republican yeah. Congress and control. Right. How I'm, are how are you going to know the difference between a Paul Ryan uh, led uh, Congress and, and a Nancy Pelosi led? Congress. I, but, I'm just trying to see what the difference is. Well, one, one is benign neglect, which is when Paul Ryan's... Uh, uh, you didn't think that was active uh, undercutting I, I of the think, president of the United I, States? I, I don't think he can do active. I don't think he's incapable of activity. I think it was benign neglect, and I think, uh, the, I think Nancy Pelosi will have an agenda, uh, and the agenda is resistance. And, oh, you and, for, you're forgetting about the better way agenda, Ed. Come on. Uh, I promise you in the history of... of uh, <laughs> you, you won't hear much about the better way ever again. Uh, oh, uh, God. So. Well, that's in and of itself is a is, is a reward. Well, and the investigations will be the big difference. I mean, the subpoena power now shifts to the majority party, and I think that's what we're going to read you know, about every day is I a different we, investigation. You know, we will, and we'll hear the same blather on uh, various uh, networks, uh, left wing networks. It's going to be all the same, except for one thing: we've already seen this movie. This man has been under quote unquote democratic investigation from almost the moment he stepped into the Oval Office. Yes. He has had the special counsel, the FBI, on his tail every minute, hounding him, trying to undercut him and, sub and subvert his administration. Are you kidding me? What do you think Nancy Pelosi can do uh, that'll be more uh, I'm, intimidating I'm not, I'm, or annoying? There's nothing she can do that's going to bring new evidence to the forefront. It just be the continue that well, there's the story. No, there's... And then it's harder for him right. to drive an agenda, which Does he has he have... to do. As the president of the United States, surely he's got the levers of power in both hands. He can't make life just as tough for the Democrats in the House as they make life for him? Uh, All right, come on. Well, that's what he promised uh, when I had, had an interview with him last week. That is what he promised, that he was, he was preparing a devastating counterpunch, as he put it, for the Democrats based on releasing Wouldn't documents. Wouldn't you? Yes. Uh, I mean, but I think uh, between Robert Mueller and the Democrats and, and this issue of time, that, uh, that all of the airtime, all of the momentum will be sucked up by those two things, I think the president is going to have a very rocky year in 19. You know, the country may have a rocky year yes. or two, too. You know where President Xi is tonight? He's in Panama, ladies and gentlemen. He went from Buenos Aires to Panama 
You know why? To do deals uh, with the Panamanian government, and that is already underway. Uh, some 26 deals and investments uh, and takeovers, uh, in point of fact. We are looking at a, a takeover uh, in part, in a large part, of Central America by the Chinese, and no one is paying attention in the national left-wing media. No one is paying attention in Congress. No one is paying attention in the Senate. And the White House had damn well better wake up to what is going on because there is nothing benign about what is happening. Well, not only that, it, they, they've already done that in, in, in Africa. There's a great uh, Chinese efforts in Africa uh, investments. Uh, my sense is they're on the move. They've never been invaders before. They're now basically business invaders. And, and I think we have to always have our guard up and be careful. Yeah. It's kind of a Cold War, though, with a new with a new enemy this time, not being the old Soviet Union, yeah, but now China, China everywhere around lot, the world. A lot, lot smarter, a lot tougher. Yeah. yeah. I, I, again, the point being, we are watching the takeover of infrastructure of, of the, the political uh, direction of Under Latin America and South America, and it is time uh, for the Trump administration to act. Underfunded, Michael, underfunded by us. I'm sorry? Underfunded by us. Underfunded. The Chinese. Oh, and funded. And funded. Okay. Yes. Uh, well, yes, over 30 years, trillions of dollars. Trillions of dollars, absolutely. It's nice that they can redistribute that. And you know, and we just thought redistribution was over, didn't we? With <laughs> Oh, man. And Rollins, Michael Goodwin. Thank you. Always Thank good you. to see you. Thanks so much.